hello welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be doing an ultimate book video if you're wondering what that means that means that i'm going to be doing all the books that i wanted to read for march but didn't my march wrap up and then my april tbr i just think it's kind of fun to like do it all together so and that's what i'm going to be doing so we're going to just get straight into it with my march tbr and all the books that i read from it the first book that i had on my march tbr was legend and i was almost done in in February but I didn't get it done before the end of February so I finished it off on like the 1st of March and I gave it a three stars it was a like dystopian book and it was about day and June and it was like dual point of view and it was like dystopian and it was actually a really good dystopian world the only reason I didn't really like it was because the main conflict in the book I like saw it coming miles away so I kind of just knew it was coming so I was really bored and I also thought that it kind of dragged on a bit but it was honestly like really good for like like dystopian so if you're looking for like dystopian then i'd read that i got through the first half like really quick but then i just kind of went downhill the romance was not very good because it was insulavy i mean i suppose that's what i was expecting but yeah i was i was wanting like a bit more and i just didn't get that but it was still fun so i would recommend the next book that was on my tbr was Shadow and Burn, and I'm so glad I got this done because I bought this like last year. I got it from like Kmart for like six bucks, which is really good. But yeah, I just like kind of bought it for like the sake of buying it. I actually didn't really like want to read it, but I read it because I wanted to read Six of Crows and I wanted to like kind of have a bit of a insight into like the world, the Grisha verse. But yeah, I really think it did help. You don't have to read the whole entire series. I think the way it ended could drag you into the rest of the series, but I just didn't really care, especially the way this is written. And it's definitely more two-dimensional than Six of Crows. So I just think that's kind of why it's not very, like, captivating and stuff. I gave it a four stars and it was much better than I was expecting. So, yeah, I was really happy about that. And I did annotate it quite a bit. So, yeah, it was better than I was expecting. The romance was with Alina and Mal. But everyone knows that Ben Barnes plays the Darkling. And I was picturing him playing the Darkling in the book. And I think the Darkling... Darkling is kind of good in the book. I don't know why, but he's kind of good in the book. Especially imagining Ben Barnes. Yeah, so I think like for the romance side of the book it was just downhill because her and Mal boring also because this is just Alina's point of view. It really does make it more two-dimensional and like, I don't know how to describe it, but it just didn't feel all there. And actually the second chapter or like the part where she goes on the ship and like she does her power for the first time i literally thought it was a dream because the way it was written it just literally i thought it was a dream but then i found out it wasn't so i was just like oh so literally thought it was a dream so yeah the next book on my march tbr was six of crows and we got this bad boy done i haven't fully like done the annotations yet because i like still want to go through it and add more tabs but hopefully you can see like all the tabs and i wrote in it like so much like oh wait you probably can't see because I dropped it. I wrote in this book so much because I love the characters and I love the subplots of romance and I love the friendships and the fan family. This book did it. This book was a five stars. I finished Shadow and Bone and then I went straight on to this one but because I had already listened to like half of this from the audiobook and I fell in love with it so I bought it and then I like basically just reread it. It still hit though because when you're like listening to an audiobook you can't really absorb all the information so there's just like little bits of like information that I didn't get and it was just so much better reading it and the ending was amazing just like bam 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 obviously it wasn't perfect because if you know you know but I just thought it was really good I knew something was gonna happen so I was kind of like on the edge of my seat like just like what is gonna happen and yeah I just think it's really good it's like emotional but funny just crazy and witty and like I love it so good such a good book the next book on my TBR once again was it starts with us and I just didn't go anywhere near this book I didn't want to pick it up because I just didn't want to like I, I literally had no interest in picking this book up I'm going to try and pick it up this month hopefully because I just want to get it over and done with like I'm not even expecting it to be bad like I feel like it will be like okay but like I just have no interest in picking it up but I need to because I just want to get it out of the way you know like I might even like it but I just 
first. I didn't go anywhere near this one. I didn't even think about picking it up. So hopefully April. The next book that was on my TBR was The Last Thing He Told Me. And I wanted this one on my TBR because I got it from the library and I did end up reading it and I gave it a 3.75 stars. It was really good. I actually really enjoyed it. I think the author did a really good job of like setting the tone of the book and setting like the mood and like the, the vibes and the atmosphere. It was really good. I feel like if it was raining you should read that book because it gives me raining vibes mainly because I read it while it was raining but still it was good. The next book on my March TBR was Flock and I did actually pick this up and I read like a chapter and I was kind of confused. I was like what's happening? What's happening? But I was like kind of here for it. I was like the vibes are there. It kind of gives me like Twilight vibes even though I haven't read Twilight but I just didn't really want to read it so I just like put it back down and then because it was from the library I had to like return it and if I want to read it I'll probably just read it on my phone but I was just like kind of confused and I feel like everyone's confused like does anyone really know what it's about no so yeah I just I don't know I think I might pick it up though because I'm like I don't want to read it like I have FOMO the next one was The Roughest Draft once again from the library and I did read that book it was a four stars it was really good absolute beach read but like if you're gonna read that book read it at the beach i don't live near the beach so i couldn't really do that but it's like turning summer in some of the places so maybe get that book for the summer i read it coming out of summer so i was a bit sad but it was still really good the tension was there but i thought like the ending was just like a little bit boring i really liked the characters I think they like really were good together so I would read that and then the next one on my March TBR was Caraval which I have started this month I don't know why I put it on my March TBR I think I just put it on there because I had it from the library but I'm like that far through and I'm really enjoying it but I just didn't pick it up last month because I don't know why but I thought this was more of like a fantasy kind of book and I was kind of scared to read it because I thought it would be like really hard to get into trust me this is like super easy I mean I suppose I should have known that because it's literally like YA but I'm like eating this up because it's written really well and it's written like very magical and like you can like kind of like taste this book also when I was like growing up like I was a fan of like Cinderella and the Wizard of Oz oh what was the movie called it was like the great and powerful Oz or something like really like high saturated like fairy tale i'm so excited for once upon a broken heart but i wanted to read this first and i thought i would just read the first book but now i'm like kind of enjoying it so i think i might read the trilogy and then read once upon a broken heart also the main character from once upon a broken heart Jax, he's like in this series so i suppose like that's like an incentive to like read it but yeah i was expecting this to just not be that good but i'm really enjoying it i suppose like if I'm enjoying this like as much as I am, I'm gonna eat up Once Upon a Broken Heart. So I'm super excited about that. I didn't read it for March though, so. And then the last book on my March TBR was Things We Hide From Light. I don't know why I put this on the TBR. I think it was just because I recently bought it. The cover is like, like this is like the Australian cover. So it has like the gold. I really love it. I really love the gold. I'm going to read this. I'm actually excited to read this. I just haven't been in my romance era you know what I mean like I'm more into my like fantasy random reading era I'm not really in my romance but I kind of feel like a romance so maybe I might read this this month but I didn't read it last month so also there was like a couple bad reviews from like people I follow on like booktube and stuff and I was just like why didn't you like it I was like kind of just like a bit sad because I was like if they don't like it then I might not like it but I'm gonna find out eventually because I can't really read that fast so it's probably gonna take me a while Anyway, that was all my March TBR. And now I'm going to get straight on to my wrap up, which some of the books are like on the wrap up. So, <clears throat> so first book was Legend. I did read that. Like I said, the main girl character was like really annoying. Was her name June? I think her name was June. She was really annoying. So yeah. The next book was Shadow and Bone. I already talked about this, but I gave it a four stars. Really good. I really liked... 
What did I like? I forgot what I liked. Okay, this is like not even that good, but like I would recommend reading it before Six of Crows only because I just feel like some people say that like Six of Crows is hard to get into and like the first hundred pages are like hard to get into. If you read this, it's only like the first ten pages are hard to get into. I would recommend, but don't be pressured. The next one I read was Six of Crows and I gave this a five stars, like I said. The main reason I actually bought this book after listening to like half of the audiobook was because of the Ninas and uh, Ninas. <laughs> Yeah, the main reason I actually bought this was because I was listening to like the Nina and Matthias flashbacks and I was just like, whoa, I love and I wanted to annotate it all and obviously I did. I annotated the living crap out of every little bit. Obviously, I'm also a Kaz and Inej stan, but once again, all of these relationships are doomed. Actually, I'm not sure about Wylan and Kaz. But I found out a couple bits of information about Crooked Kingdom and I'm not happy about it because I thought like at least like there would be a little bit of happy ending. No, oh, I hope that's like not spoilers but bad luck. And then obviously I read The Last Thing He Told Me. This is a good book. It was a mystery um, and it's about Owen and Hannah. And Owen is Hannah's husband and he just one day runs off and he like leaves a note saying like, I'm gone. And then Hannah and Bailey, Owen's daughter, have to team up together and figure out what actually happened and what the goss was. But the reason why I didn't give this like a higher rating, I would have given it a four stars or maybe like a four point something if the ending was like satisfying but it just wasn't like I was kind of confused like not really confused but I was just kind of like it was really flat but I did love the vibes what I also loved was the last chapter it seems like an epilogue and I loved it because throughout the book Hannah and Bailey they have a bit of um, character development and the last line in the book was just chef's kiss I really liked it the next one that I listened to was Cinder and I gave it three stars but it was actually like really good like it was really entertaining like just simple and easy but I didn't like the ending this is like a theme I don't like the endings of half the books I read but I really didn't like the ending of this one because it's like a series so this one like ends like really open-ended so then you have to read all the other books to figure out like what's gonna happen in this story so I didn't like that but I listened to this while I was like cleaning the house so it was really like fun like to like do something while cleaning also this is a Cinderella retelling and I just didn't like how they changed some of like the main points in Cinderella like I wanted like something from Cinderella in this book and it just it didn't hit the mark so that was a bit sad the next one was the Queen of Nothing and if you know you know this is the last book in the bulk of the air trilogy and I gave it a five stars but I was actually kind of surprised I gave it a five stars I mainly gave it a five stars because I love the characters love the ending I'm gonna reread this series because it's so good this series is so good yeah I just love these characters I love the world it is like the perfect fairy world like I love it so much I think my favorite might be the first book and I don't know why because I love all the books and I feel like the author did a really good job of keeping the same vibe in all the books but just something about the first book just hits the next one was the rapper's draft you already heard me talking about this this was like really good it was about co-authors who stopped writing like three years ago and then in the future they have to team up to write another book that's in their contract false proximity and a lot of tension a lot of feelings that haven't been communicated it is like a literary romance so it is kind of more like a level up from like some of like the other romances like this romance or maybe like this romance and then the last book I read in March was Confess and I'm honestly so surprised I read this but I read it because it was on my book cart it was on my book cart over there and my mum like just walked into my room and I was kind of just like pick a book so she picked this and I was just like okay I'm gonna read it so I just read it and then I finished it and that was that but like I went into this like kind of like oh I don't know if I'm gonna like it because I haven't read Colleen Hoover in a hot minute and I know her writing is very like accessible like easy to read 
like drags you in straight away. I wonder what the first line is. I pass through the hospital doors knowing it'll be the last time. Boom, life drop. Um, I really like the ending of this book. That was like a major part of this book that I really liked. Most of the book I was just cringing at what these characters were saying because it was cringy. Like, I don't know how Colleen Hoover came up with it because it was so cringe. But I really liked the ending, so that was good. I just think Colleen Hoover books are very repetitive. And this one kind of gave me like, it ends with us vibes, brackets, ugly love vibes. I don't know why, but it just did. But I actually liked ugly love, so yeah. But this one just didn't give me, like it didn't really grip me. Like usually Colleen Hoover books like really like suck you in, but this one didn't. I finished it and it wasn't bad. It just was like flat. It was just really flat. The ending was good though and I did actually, embarrassing, but I did actually tear up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how, but most of the book was just really flat and it was insulavy and there was a knockoff Ryle in here. Oh my god, it was so gross. Like, probably worse than Ryle. It was it was really gross. Anyway, that was all the books that I read in March. Uh, how many was it? One, two, three, four. It was eight books, which I don't really care how much because, like, let me, let me be honest. I have school. I have not many other things to do, but I have school to do and you can't really read that many books in school and if you're watching this and you have a job and you have school and you have all these other activities and like things that you're like committed to and you can't read that much like it's honestly just quality over quantity like if you're enjoying what you're reading just do that because trust me half of these books that I read I didn't even enjoy so if anyone's a clown it's me I'm gonna talk about all the books that I want to read in April I had this written down but I kind of changed it so I'm gonna go with what's in my head because what I have written down I don't know if I want to read everything I have written down the books I want to read in April are these ones and then there's a couple on my phone so the first one is Daisy Hates I have got into this book I'm on page like 60 or something 67 I love this writing I love just this universe it's just so fun and like fan family and like it's really good but I read Magnolia Parks like I don't know like a month ago and I was kind of like scared to get into this one but I got into it last night it's really good I'm gonna finish it this month I'm just kind of like trying to delay the process also I know that the third book of Magnolia Parks is really sad do I want to read that do I want to cry no this is one of the books that I want to get done this month the next book is obviously Caraval. I'm halfway through. I honestly think I could probably get this done tonight if I really wanted to. Super easy. The font is really big. So don't be fooled by like thinking I'm reading fast because no, the font is really big. Like look at that. It's really big. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I think like I want to be reading books that I'm enjoying and this is giving. This is like just so magical and like I love it. It's just speaking to me and I'm so excited to read Once Upon a Broken Heart. I'm going to try and read this one this month and also Legendary and Finale or something. So yeah, that's my goal. I'll see how I feel at the end of this book. The next one is Crooked Kingdom, which I am on page 180. As you can see, this has like almost 500 pages, but it's really good and I really enjoy it. But I just wanted like a break. I needed a break from this universe because I'm obsessed with like not just the books but the cast and the tv show and like everything about the whole entire universe i'm obsessed with i need a break because the hyperfixation is unhealthy so i'm gonna try and get this one done this month but i'm having a break for now so i'm probably like at the end of the month and then the last book that i want to read in april is clockwork prince and this is a must because I keep like hearing about this book and I keep seeing people read it or like hear people talking about it and I always want to read it but I just never do it and I read the first book it's on my shelf I read the first book in January and I just like loved it so much so I ordered these the next two books in the trilogy I never got around to reading them because I don't know why I really loved it and I know something sad's gonna happen in the third book I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cope but I am gonna get this book done this month I honestly want to like pick it up right now because I just have the the craving but I also had the craving to pick up Daisy Hates last night how long did that last it didn't last very long now oh, the writing's big I didn't realize the writing was big I really really want to read this book very soon and I kind of want to read it now just like looking at it and I actually love the cover like at the start I was kind of just like oh the cover's okay but now I love it 
I probably should read City of Bones and I might do that eventually and I'm definitely going to read The Last Hours. Like I want to read every single Cassandra Taylor book so I honestly think I might get try and get into this today because like might as well start now. On my phone I want to read Keeping 13 because I have started that one once again. I'm, I think I'm on like 40% so I should be able to get that one done. I kind of just pick it up when I want to. I really enjoy it though. Like there is just like a couple things in the book that are kind of like not really like I just find it weird. Like the friend Gipsy is at the start I was like oh yeah he's funny like I, I really like him but then he's kind of like weird now and I think there's like a bit more to the story there's a bit of like a weird kind of vibe going on with like the friend group I don't know it's weird I really enjoyed the first book though I gave it a five stars but I want to get that one done and then I also want to get the right move done I literally said before that like quality over quantity but it's on my goodreads currently reading and it's not that it's like bad it's just like I want more like I want like more tension and more like slow burn and I feel like it's just not that slow burn so yeah I'm not really excited to read that I uh, might do an effort like the guy is like top tier book boyfriend but I just hate the books that are like overly sexual and that's definitely one that's like overly like sexual and like I just don't like it like I don't mind smart but I'm talking about like the books that are like the characters like in their head and they're just like yeah she's so hot like I don't like it it just ruins the vibe so yeah they are all the books that I'm currently reading that I've read that I want to read and I hope you enjoyed yeah if you like books subscribe I'm so tired okay goodbye